Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So this is a donation that I'm going to be giving to a family member. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. And I'm just going to go through a couple of these boxes. Um, I'm not going to go through every single box because you know what, guys? It'll be a 20-minute video and uh, it's just... I know some of you would love it, but probably the majority of people would be like, it's just too long. But anyhow... Um, I only see this family member uh, probably a couple times a year and um, they just need this kind of stuff and I know that you know they'll say just give me one thing of toilet paper or whatever but I try to give them enough stuff to stock them up for a couple of months and this is just really amazing what we can do with couponing. Um, if I was going to give a sticker value of the retail of all this stuff with those two litters um, it would be in the neighborhood of close to a thousand dollars. With couponing, I get this stuff dirt cheap, um, but if I would have to buy all this out of pocket, well, sadly, I couldn't afford just to fork over $1,000 and just buy this person whatever. So I am just going to show you guys um, some of the paper products along with some of the other items and a little bit of method to my madness. And I actually included a box of food. Um, I have been couponing a lot more for food lately, um, so I will just show you guys that. And um, maybe this will inspire a couple of you um, if you want to give to your family how to organize some stuff. And this video is no means or way to brag. Um, I just have been doing this a really long time and I like to help out family a lot. Um, and I don't accept money for this. Uh, I could never take a penny um, from certain family members uh, because, you know, I get this stuff dirt cheap with deals and stuff. So that's just how I am. I guess I'm old fashioned that way. But I'm just going to show you guys um, a couple of these boxes and um, some of the boxes I probably won't be showing you. Um, this is for a family member who just had a baby. It's all baby stuff in here. And I'm going to throw in some diapers as well on the top. Um, this box is just nothing but um, pods and some fabric softener sheets and then a whole bunch of um, hand soaps and then more Arm & Hammer pods down there. It's a very smelly box. It smells great. Um, but I will show you guys a couple of these boxes back here and the food box. Okay, so uh, the first little thing here is some paper. We have 24 bounty paper towels. Those were uh, with coupons, store points, and plenty points, you know, dirt cheap a couple months ago at Rite Aid. We have a couple of these bounty napkins. I got those at Meyer more than a year ago. I have three Cottonelle 18s. These are from a deal, I think, uh, last week at Rite Aid couple of those travel size uh, Kleenexes, they're always nice to have in the car. Couple giant mamas of Kleenex, some Cottonelle wipes, and uh, two Charmin blues for good measure. Special hello to Mrs. Empty Nester. I know that is her favorite. Okay, so this is the first box and it's one of these little uh, priority boxes from the post office. Uh, we have some sweet tea in here. And then my mom actually got a bunch of this tea too for this family member. So here's one of them. There's a whole bunch of them in there. One of these Texas Pete hot sauces. <clears throat> we have some Nutella. Uh, both myself and my husband do not like Nutella. Some ice cream stuff for the ice cream machine. We have some Hungry Jack pancake mix. One of these Brookside's. A couple of these penny items of the um, Dollar General popcorn. And then this little uh, hot chocolate. I had bought this for my mom, but my mom, sadly, because of her diabetes, is she's lost a taste for this sort of stuff. So I just thought this family member might like it. It's kind of a nice um, hot chocolate mix. Okay, so the second box is a lot of like um, toothpaste, that kind of stuff. We have uh, two soft and dry deodorants, some of these really nice chic razors, one of these Q-Texes, Calendula cream, Dalcolax, some Walgreens aspirins. These were absolutely free, um, I think last year and the expiry date. They're still good till 2018. Cough candy, a couple of these uh, Listerine uh, flosses, and then we have some Oral-B and then three mouthwashes, some um, nail polishes and remover, and then a whole bunch. Like it's stacked right to the bottom of different Crest and Colgate um, toothpaste. And this guy expired, so hold on, let's look at the date together. 2016. Wow, I really don't care about any of it if I'm going to give this old piece of... Let's, let's take a look what it looks like, too. Hold on. I mean, it still looks fine, but 
I, I don't know what to think of that, giving it an expired uh, deodorant. Maybe I'll wrap this up and give it to somebody I don't like for Christmas. So, bye. Okay, uh, what else do we have in here? A couple nail files. Um, one of these big hand soap things. A whole bunch of makeup wipes, shaving cream, two little arm and hammers. So, a pretty filled box um, full of, like, bathroom, oral care, that kind of stuff. So, forget giving that to somebody for Christmas. I think it's the world's greatest cat toy. Suzu. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the next box, which is just household cleaners and stuff. So let's just go through this quickly. Sponges from my mom's house, and they are Canadian-made sponges. How cool is that? And we have two little Renewsits. Um, I have three or four of these um, Eric Pures, three or four Lysols, three or four Palmolives. This little guy, remember that was last, free last summer? We have a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, running low on those. Uh, one of these Clorox Single Scrubs. Um, two things for the car to make it smell nice. And this is the box. Um, I've got some of these sprays as well. Something for, um, you know, if your pet does their business on the carpet, that's always great. And a couple uh, Purex crystals and some Windex, you know, just basic stuff. What are you doing? Because we're playing with that secret deodorant. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of like beauty stuff, um, hair stuff, body wash, you name it, it's in this box. We have a whole bunch of travel size stuff too for traveling and some glad bags. Uh, these were a complete free item at the Dollar Tree last summer. And this box is just filled with the rest of stuff um, that I'm gonna be donating. It's just a whole lot of stuff. And um, look how big these pantines are, they're massive. And they were a freebie last summer at Walgreens. So really great. So that's it guys. I know that uh, when the family member comes to get all this stuff tomorrow, uh, they are going to be so um, moved by this. Uh, probably a couple tears will be shed. And um, it's a great feeling doing something really big for somebody. And they're not really expecting it. That's my favorite thing to do is to see their reaction. And usually there's a lot of jaws that get dropped. Or they're like, well, did you like rob a Walgreens? They're just totally surprised. But couponing is a very, very powerful hobby. And you can really bless a lot of people. You can do a lot for your family and friends. And um, that's why I've been doing it so hard for the last five years. Because... It's just being able to do something like this. Like I can't, I absolutely can't afford just to write a check for somebody for a thousand bucks so they can go to the store and buy all this stuff. Can I afford to do it through couponing? Yes. So it's really, really an amazing hobby if you get into it and uh, you can really help people. So that's it for now, guys. I will see you in the next one.